Hey, welcome to Vibe Talk. It's been a while. I'm Dennis, and today I am so excited because I finally get to talk to you about something that we've been working very hard on, our brand new immersive VR glasses, the Vive Flow. I've shown the Vive Flow to a lot of different people now, and the first reaction that everyone's had when they first see it is utter surprise at just how small and lightweight it is. So for today, I wanna to go into a bit more detail on the ways that we managed to cram so much technology into such a tiny form factor and how we still manage to keep the Vive Flow so lightweight. Vive Flow is small, light, portable, and convenient. It is designed first and foremost to be the go-to VR device for brand new use cases that goes way beyond just gaming. What we have created in the end is so small that we might not even want to call it a headset anymore. This new form factor realizes new possibilities for how people can integrate VR into their life. So the most appropriate metaphor for what Viflow is, is that it's a pair of glasses, because with such a compact form factor, Viflow is primed to let VR be a part of everyone's everyday life. Viflow only weighs 189 grams, to achieve this, a barrier we had to overcome when designing and engineering Vive Flow is we had to completely rethink the optic system. Traditional VR lens systems require a lot of room for the light from the internal display to travel and be able to refocus correctly at the user's eyes. Vive Flow's pancake lens design uses ultra-precise polarization and half mirroring on its two lenses to precisely bend the light coming from the display and let the light fold and reflect within the optics before arriving at your eyes. So what this means in simpler terms is the light from the display in this system will still travel about the same distance as it would in a traditional VR optical system. But because the light is so precisely calibrated to fold in on itself, the actual physical space required is significantly reduced. This entire optic system was designed and then precisely simulated by our engineers. Then, in order to achieve the fidelity and performance, we had to create a new type of custom lens coating material with anti-reflection and beam splitting to ensure that every wavelength of visible light would bend and travel precisely. So that's it for today's look at the optics and display of the Vive Flow. It's a core of how we managed to keep the Vive Flow so small and so light. But this is just the beginning, so make sure to stay tuned to this channel for more deep dives into the engineering and design of our first immersive VR glasses. For now, thanks for watching. I'm Dennis, and I'll see you next time on Vive Talk.